Hi, I'm Dan Healing. I'm here with my colleague Steve Ewart at, from the Calgary Herald. And today we're talking about uh, a blockbuster oil sands deal. Suncor Energy announcing this morning that they will bid $6.6 .6 billion, that's $2.3 billion in debt, plus $4.3 billion worth of Suncor shares for Canadian oil sands, the largest owner in the Syncrude joint venture. These are two players that are, that are traditional strengths in the oil patch. Yeah, this is really a pretty interesting deal on a couple of fronts. With Suncor and Syncrude, you have really the two pioneers of the oil sands coming together and if the bid does go through Suncor will then control Syncrude through Canadian oil sands which owns 37 percent of its share at this point so it's a fascinating deal in that regard also it's a hostile takeover and we don't see those too often in the oil patch in fact the last really big one was in 1997 when Nexen came in the company that became Nexen came in and swooped in to take Wascana Energy from Talisman Energy so we don't see those too often and it creates a lot of news when it does happen but Steve Williams the Suncor our CEO said today that he actually was looking to avoid that. Well, and uh, had they taken the earlier bid, they, uh, the um, Canadian Oil Sands shareholders would have been getting 0.32 of a Suncor share instead of 0.25, which you're getting now, which is a 28% difference, quite significant. Um, analysts are split on the deal right now. They're not sure that whether the price we're seeing right now is going to be the final price. They're, uh, they're, some are speculating that Imperial Oil, which owns 25%, of the Syncrude partnership may make a bid. Uh, what do you think of that? Steve? Well, certainly Canadian Oil Sands has already come out and said for the shareholders to hold steady at this point and let's see what happens if something else emerges. But this bid will be on the table until December 4th, so we're likely to pay attention to this for several months to come yet.